proper countryside today uh, out in Essex way an aeroplane strip it looks pretty cool it's, it's actually perfect because the loops 4k's and uh, the session today so Ben's actually got a half marathon uh, he's racing Bath half this weekend so he's gonna do a reduced version he's, do, he's gonna do four or five I'm gonna do seven because it's one month to go till Manchester um, and peak training so pretty much the session today is seven times 3k um, at around probably half marathon effort uh, with 1k float in between so Big session, um, that's for sure. Maybe a tiny bit slower than, than half marathon efforts. We'll see how we get along. Um, it's good conditions. The one side's a bit breezy, other side is with you, so I can't complain. Uh, and yeah, with a month to go, sort of the next two and a half weeks is where the magic is made. So let's put in the work. I'm ready with you. Top of one. Cool. Run 3k this way, jog, jog a k, and then we should start each round about here. So cool. That pre session right. buzz. Yeah. It's almost like a race buzz, hey? Cool, yeah. let's keep it controlled though. Three, two, one. one, let's go. And we're off. That first rep of a session almost sets a tone for what's to come. And often it's quite tricky to get right because you're still sort of getting warmed up. You don't know if you're flying or going too slow, uh, but the proof will be in the pudding when we get through that first kilometer split. So I'm really, really glad that this session got recorded because it was tough and that's what marathon training is all about it's super hard sometimes and i want to showcase in the session exactly when things don't go according to plan how to get the most out of it and how to remain productive he has a closer look at the takumi sen 10s that we did our session in First kilometer split in a speedy 308, but I must say the first kilometer is with wind, second kilometer into wind, third kilometer pretty neutral. In the beginning we said it wasn't too windy, haha, <laughs> we were wrong. That's indicated by this wind sock coming up here. It's quite an exposed loop this, and uh, the wind actually did end up smashing us through the second kilometer split, 318. Just to put things into perspective, uh, coming into this, I wasn't very fresh at all. I think I finished on around 110 Ks after the session on a Thursday morning. Uh, the week before I was on 177, so really pushing my limits, big mileage week. But remember, mileage doesn't mean much without quality, so really trying to keep the quality there. Third kilometer split, 313. First set down. Nice, brother. Yeah, first set done. I think we averaged 3.13s for that. We got the pacing a little bit off. First credit was quick, and that made it a little bit harder. But yeah, there is a little bit of wind. I didn't think there was, but just about to start the second rep, aim for around the same pace and not get carried away. 200 meters left. Always nice to take the first one off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Into rep number two we go, and much more controlled first kilometer this time, around 3.13 per K. And like I said, for the session you're looking for around half marathon to marathon effort. Perhaps you'll hear the wind a little bit more now, but that's great, it makes for tough training and you never quite know what race day conditions are gonna bring, especially at Manchester, it's got a history of being windy. It's always a bit tricky that second one because you're working hard but you know you've got a lot ahead of you so that's key to just focus on the next one yeah we have to sit in a little bit on this one starting to struggle already so come on hang in there yeah you got this. 
we were both feeling the heat from early on. I think Ben maybe slightly more. He did a super speedy track session on Tuesday night and this big session Thursday morning meant pretty much a day and a half of recovery, which probably isn't enough for a big session like this. To put things into perspective, if I'm to break 220 at Manchester Marathon, I need to average 319 per kilometer. So much of these sessions is getting your mind into the right place. Physically, you can almost always do it. Mentally, when you start feeling the heat from early on and you know you're only two or three sets in into seven reps, you know it can get quite tough. You've got to really get that Go mind right. Think positive thoughts. Uh, one more. Yeah, one more. Take number four coming up. Always a tricky part of the session where you know you're hurting, you're not quite halfway yet, but you know once you've done this rep, rep number four, then there's only three reps left and it's downhill from here. Marathon day, if you're giving it a full send, is tough. It's so hard, especially that last 10K. So you may as well not trick yourself in training. Of course, don't race every session, but you need to go through these tough motions to actually remember what it feels like, a slight taste of what it feels like, so that come race day, you're much more prepared. This is Ben's last set, and I must say, a few days after this, he ran a pretty impressive 68 minutes at Bath Half. Well done, champ. So, just coming to the end of the fourth one there. It's definitely enough for me today. Just feeling really tired and lethargic. But Nick is smashing it. He's got a few more reps to go, so I'm gonna let Mr. Cameraman stick with Nick, document his last few reps, and I'll catch up with you after my warm down. But I'm done. That's enough for me. Good job, Nick. Keep going. Thanks, buddy. Thanks very much. So good for the weekend. It's always nice getting over the halfway point. Don't get me wrong, the next three on. It's not going to be easy. That's for sure. Physically, you can almost always do it mentally that's where the battles are won and lost three to go come on training is tough but i can guarantee you race day is going to be tougher so let's not trick ourselves well if it was tough with ben it's about to get a whole level harder haha <laughs> let's do this i don't know why we choose to do this to ourselves but it's always worth it So in my mind right now, I'm thinking nine more Ks of work, three times three K. So nine Ks of work with two breaks in between. It's not that bad. My heart rate's gradually climbing. I'm pushing higher end of zone four, almost touching on zone five now. So I really want to keep the session productive. I don't want to end up racing. I think I've made that mistake in the past where I've pushed too hard in these sessions and absolutely cooked myself. So always think this for these sessions. You want to work hard, very hard, but you don't want to completely empty the tank. Come race day, you can always find an extra gear. Push too hard in these sessions and that just delays recovery. And remember, marathon, a successful marathon is a collective of consistent nice. training. So you wanna have lots of really good little bits rather than one or two really big one-offs. Five and a half k's in over 100 k's for the week and it's thursday morning <laughs> so even though 
I am struggling a bit. It's to be expected. It was a big week. Two more sets and I can feel it getting really tough. And I said, this set, if I drop below marathon pace, goal marathon pace is 319, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the session a little bit short to try and keep it productive, rather than force it and get slower. We must listen to our bodies. The wind is picking up on this exposed loop. For the first time I've dropped below goal marathon pace and that's when I decided let's finish this rep and let's just reduce the final sets to 2Ks instead of 1K. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reduce this last set to 2Ks just because I wanna keep it productive. I'm gonna keep quiet so you get a good feel for what it's like, but this right here is where the magic is made. These reps right here is where you thank yourself for come race day. You know what? I've definitely still got another kilometer in me, but I'm deciding to train smart this block. Previous blocks, I would have forced that, but today I just want to keep it under control. Um, I'm trying to not absolutely kill the body week in, week out. Let's see if it plays in our favor in four weeks' time. Apart from that, honestly, I would have liked to finish one more K, but it is what it is, and I can't ask for much more. We're tracking nicely. We've got a lot of work to do over the next four weeks. Let's go! Three, two, 30Ks in the bank. 335 average. Can't ask for much more. Boom shakalaka. See you at the next one. So we just finished the session. Mine was a little bit short today. To be honest with you, I had a bit of a shocker. Um, I think from the start, my legs just felt pretty tired and I knew I was gonna struggle. I think from the second rep, you can kind of tell I wasn't, I wasn't firing all, all cylinders today. Um, not quite sure. Well, I think for a number of reasons. One is I did a really hard track session on Tuesday. It's now Thursday. So usually I give myself uh, two days easy between my sessions, but I brought this one forward for um, the half marathon at the weekend. And yeah, just next felt a little bit tight, but one of those sessions, how did you get on? Don't be so hard on yourself. No, I, I, I wouldn't call it a shocker. No, um, not a shocker. But Joe, you know what I could tell, I could actually tell you went on, on song today. Um, yeah. But that's okay, I think it's a good thing actually, because uh, you need to go through those phases in training. Definitely. And um, and that's what training is about for like 99% of us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, often on social media, we tend to put the good sessions and the stuff we fly and kill it. So. You know what I, I found today very tough as well. There's something about this loop. I mean, it's pretty flat, but in the beginning, Ben said it wasn't really windy, and I think uh, the weather gods heard us, and the, <laughs> the wind sort of picked up yeah. as the session went on, and uh, it was exposed. So, do you know what? When you can do sort of that sort of session uh, on a loop like this with exposed conditions, you've got to hope that uh, come race day, in a group, in a pack. Um, that things feel a whole lot easier. So Definitely. yeah, I think I find today mentally one of the harder sessions. Um, I also cut my session short by just 1K, uh, but I, I decided I think that's the best way to keep it productive. So honestly, yeah, thanks for, for linking up today. If I'd done that by myself or without Liam on the bike, there's no ways I would have stuck it out. So, so thanks so much for that. No worries.